Hello and welcome to Promine's Drill and Blast Underground module. Along other functionalities, this module allows to insert drill holes, load them, create delays, calculate the power factor, insert an energy analysis, and insert reports ready for printing. This module can be found in the engineering category of Promine, and the main functionalities will be presented in this quick overview. We are going to start with this drawing that shows the section of a stope to quickly insert the drill and blast design. On the left side, we can see the section with the two axes leveled in green and the blast outline in white. On the right side, we can see the plan view of the same area with the ore in red. The first step for the insertion of the drill hose is to insert the pivot line. After selecting the command pivot line, a window will open that shows three different insertion methods. The first two options insert a straight pivot line and the third one an arched line. In the first option, you can see that the program allows you to configure and personalize the used drills. Here we use the easier second option, where just the distance to the walls and floor have to be defined. By clicking OK and then selecting the drift contour, the pivot line is quickly inserted. Now all the required information is in the drawing, the pivot line, the drift outline and the blast outline. To initiate this information for the program, we use configure parameters and select the corresponding outlines as requested in the command line. After the successful setup, we can now insert the drill holes. The command first asks on which side of the pivot to start and then shows different options for the insertion. In this case, we are going to use the Distribute option, which allows us to insert holes with an even spacing along the pivot line. So we select Distribute, select the Pivot option, and then the outlay of the first and last hole. Based on this information, the program inserts the holes at an equal distance. Automatically, it creates four holes and shows the spacing of the holes in the command line. We can increase the number of holes to five, by simply writing this number in the command line and then pressing enter. The whole number gets automatically updated as well as the information about the spacing. As this seems like a good spacing, we can select go and then exit to finish the command. Once the drill holes are inserted, we can insert a drilling report. Using the command insert report, the program shows us the different configured reports that are available. In this case, we have two types, drilling and blasting. These reports are just examples of possible reports. As many as desired can be set up, as well as all the fields that are visible in the different reports. We select the drilling report, select OK and select all drill holes and the reference line. And immediately the report will be inserted. Once the drill holes are inserted, we can quickly set up the blasting. We're going to start with the load drill holes command, where we can configure the type of explosive, the stemming and the bottom load. If desired, a staged explosive can be inserted. We choose the drilling diameter and then press OK. Now we have to select where on top of the drill hole the explosive should extend to and select the holes that we have to charge. Obviously, just like the reports, the types of explosives, its characteristics, the prices as well as the drilling diameters are completely customizable. With the drill holes charged, we can now quickly insert an energy analysis to verify that the drill design and the explosives amount are accurate for the breakage of the rock. We are going to use the command energy analysis establish the maximum working distance for the explosive, the analysis spacing, that we want to enter the blocks and no report. Now we select the analysis area and the drill holes that need to be analyzed and we are ready. The program inserts the color blocks and the block number and value. The red and yellow colors indicate that a lot of explosives is concentrated in this area, while the green color is the desired value for an even blast. Blue indicates that there is a low amount of explosive that could reach this area. It is possible to insert delays. We're going to use the command Generate Delays, select the holes, the type of delay, the origin and the size of the block. Once the delays are generated, we can configure them. Starting with the first one, using Set Delays, choosing the first delay and setting it to zero. The block in the drawing is automatically updated. Based on this first one, we can establish the delays of the other drill holes by using the Next Delay command. We choose the first hole that we just set and then mark the following ones in relation to this one. Here we are choosing a delay of 25 milliseconds for one hole to the next. The delays and the times are also completely customizable. To finish, we are going to insert a few more reports, starting by using Insert Report again and selecting the Blasting Report this time. Select the drill holes and the program directly creates the report. The last report to insert is a stope summary. We are selecting the command, select the drill holes, and insert the costs for drilling and blasting. A small report will be inserted. This concludes this quick overview of the Drill and Blast Underground module. If you have any questions about this or other modules of Promine, please write us at info at Thanks for watching.